Dr. Vakas. Today we will discuss about systemic lupus erythematosus. Systemic lupus erythematosus is an autoimmune disease in which body's immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissue in many parts of the body. SLE is one of the several diseases known as the great imitator because it often mimics or is mistaken for other illnesses. Symptoms of the disease usually vary in patients and may be mild to severe. Common symptoms and signs which are seen in SLE patients are fever, painful and swollen joints, hair loss, mouth ulcers, lymphadenopathy, fatigue, weight loss and malar rash. Often there are periods of illness called flares and periods of remission during which there are few symptoms. To diagnose SLE following investigations are performed. Anti-nuclear antibody, anti-double-stranded DNA, C3 and C4 complement levels, CRP, ESR, urine for costs or protein, CBC, LFTs and RFTs. The American College of Rheumatology established 11 criteria for diagnosis of SLE. A person has SLE if any 4 out of 11 are present simultaneously or serially on two separate occasions. Malar rash, discoid rash, photosensitivity, it means exposure to ultraviolet light causes rash or other symptoms of SLE flares up, oral ulcers, arthritis, non-erosive arthritis of two or more peripheral joints with tenderness, swelling or a few in. Serocytis, pleurisy or pericarditis, renal disorders, more than 0.5 gram per day protein in urine or cellular costs are seen in urine under microscope. Neurologic disorders include seizures or psychosis. Hematological disorders include hemolytic anemia, leukopenia, lymphopenia or low platelet count. Hypocomplementemia is also seen due to consumption of C3 and C4 complements by immune complex induced inflammation. Immunologic abnormalities that is positive anti-Smith, anti-DSTNA, anti-phospholipid antibody or false positive serological test for syphilis. Positive ANA There is no cure of SLE. The treatment of SLE involves preventing flares and reducing their severity and duration when they occur. Before discussing SLE treatment in detail, remember hydroxychloroquine has a central role for long-term treatment in all SLE patients. Medications used to treat SLE manifestations include NSAIDs, anti-malarials, corticosteroids, non-biologic DMARDs like uh, cyclophosphamide, methotrexate, azathioprine, mycophenolate, cyclosporin. Biologic DMARDs, belimumab, rituximab. and should apply a protective lotion on skin while out of doors. Skin lions often respond to local administration of corticosteroids. Minor joint symptoms can be treated by a rest and NSAIDs. Hydroxychloroquine may be helpful in treating lupus rashes or joint symptoms and also reduce incidence of severe disease flares. And remember, 
annual monitoring for retinal changes is recommended while patient on HCQ. Required for control of certain serious complications such as CNS involvement, glomerulonephritis, alveolar hemorrhage, hemolytic anemia, and pericarditis. Prednisolone can usually be tapered to low doses that is 5 to 10 mg per day when disease is inactive. Immunosuppressive agents such as cyclophosphamide and azathioprine are used in cases resistant to steroids. Like and subscribe our channel for further videos. Thank you.